Hi guys, welcome to Live Beauty 11. I'm Christelle and this video is about what to get when you get started into makeup. Right, so let's get talking about makeup. I started really getting into makeup about a year ago and before that I was um, I was just into getting an even face so I had a blood powder a foundation um, foundation brush and a mascara and yeah and and that was it really and I didn't even put that every single day when I was in uni I would just put it on um, when I felt like it I would just put foundation powder mascara and that's it um, for me it was fine it wasn't anything um, to elaborate and to take any time so I was happy with that but then I was on the internet um, on YouTube especially looking at people's um, videos and blogs and um, kind of the first video that I watched that really got me thinking maybe I should get a bit more than I really have are videos from Petrilude. Um I think his name is Josh I'm not sure so I'm sorry um, so yeah his videos are really really cool especially the, uh, the artistic looks um, that I really like I wish I could do stuff like that they're really pretty um, so yeah, I've been watching his videos as well as Scandalous Beauty, Erin, um, she did a lot of beauty um, videos for beginners like how to match your foundation, um, which foundation is bad for which type of skin and things like that. So go check her channel out, um, really really good info um, for women of colors. Um, what else? Yeah, and then the usual like Queen of Blending. Um, who else? Yeah, the various people on the top of my mind, I really can't um, name any, but there are a lot of people on YouTube that I do watch and that kind of helped me towards that journey I am on right now. So I thought I'll just do a video about um, the things that is good for beginners to buy. I think that you don't really want to spend too much money because you're just you're just getting started and you're going to experiment with different colors different finishes different shades and you don't want to buy expensive stuff find out that you don't like them and just leave them sorry and then just leave them sitting down in the in the in your drawers and stuff so um i think that what you should spend your money on is foundation because um, there's only one way to find out if you like it or not that's it you can't except if you can buy like samples and stuff but for me foundation you just buy the bottle you try it on if you don't like it try another bottle and stuff like that so yeah for me that's where you want to get started um, but you can still buy cheap stuff if you want to find out if you prefer cream blushes cr cream foundations or liquid foundations or any other type of um, foundations so yeah foundations for me is where you have to put your money um, um, concealer as well and something else and prob and setting powder as well whole face powder whatever it's called blood powder setting powder whatever powder um, I think you should invest in that as well because it's going on your face it's going to be visible all day it's the most visible part of your face so you want to get that part right so um, as far as eyeshadows are concerned um, I would start with cheap stuff like the palettes that you could buy off eBay like the 120 palettes the neutral palette colors um, the shimmery palettes um, coastal sense eyeshadows stuff like that they're really good qualities out there and um, they'll get you experimented not only with the colors but with the shades the color combinations with the finishes um, you can find out if you prefer matte finishes to shimmery finishes and stuff like that and when you get that down I think it's you be more apt to choose um, which shade you would like in different higher brands like MAC, um, Bobbi Brown, NARS and stuff like that. What I also think you can invest in is um, brushes. You can buy cheap brushes but you will definitely not have the same ease of application when you have cheaper brushes than when you have um, more expensive brushes. Um, I think that Sigma, Sigma brushes are a good way to start. 
um, I have Sigma brushes. I like them. I have no problem with them. I know there are a lot of people um, that like to compare them with MAC brushes and um, that like to that have a lot of problem with them, but I don't have any problem with them. Um, I don't really want to compare them with MAC brushes because they're not the same price range and um, not the same quality and stuff like that. So I'm happy with just you know sticking to my Sigma brushes. Another thing you can buy on the cheap side are blushes. There are a lot of brands that do cheap um, blushes. There are NYX, um, NYC in the UK you have Sleek um, which do really good blushes. You have um, other brands like Bourjois, all the super drug, all the drugstores, sorry, all the drugstores um, brands that you can try. Um, they're cheap. You can decide whether you prefer peachy tones or corally tones or really bright bright um, um, blushes as well. You can go on eBay. They have um, blush palettes as well so you can kind of test the finish, the shade, where to apply the blush and things like that. So this is a really really unexpensive and good way to um, get using makeup, get experimented with the makeup. So palettes are definitely the best way to get experimenting. Um, on eBay, as I said, there are tons of palettes that you can buy there. In the um, um, drugstores, there are palettes, sleep palettes, um, Beauty UK palettes. Uh, what else palettes do they have? They have Revlon palettes as well. So yeah, palettes are a great way to um, kind of choose which shades you prefer, um, whether it be for lips as well, lips. Um, cheeks, eyes, and stuff like that. Um, one last thing to mention um, are the mascaras. You can buy cheap mascara. There's nothing wrong with cheap mascaras. At the moment, my um, favorite mascara is from Maybelline, and it's the Falsies. I adore this mascara. I think it's seven, seven or eight pounds, something like that. So, yeah, I'm I'm happy with it. I'm I don't even want to try high-end products like um, YSL or even I have a MAC, a mini MAC uh, mascara that I really really like so I might just go and buy that one but um, besides that just try out uh, mascaras, um, drugstore um, mascaras because they're really really good and, and you could just end up being happy with them. I'm happy with them. I don't want to change so. Um, what else? Oh yeah, eye pencil, cold pencils as well. You can buy them um, drugstore is it's, it's good. They're good. I like them. I, all, most of my um, eye pencils are from Gosh. Um, so yeah, I'm happy with these. So first, there is the nude palette on but on eBay. Um, we have all uh, neutral, not nude, uh, neutral colors, and that will help you with. Sorry, that will help you with trying to do and do smoky eyes and play around with the shades and the shapes as well of the eyeshadows. Um, then you have the blush palette, 28 color. Again, it will help you like choosing which shades you prefer. If you prefer bright colors or darker colors or um, I don't know, matte or shimmery um, blushes. Then what color, what, 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 you have Manly 120 palette. I'm not going to open it because, um, yeah, it's going to fall everywhere. Um, what can I show? Oh yeah, blushes. This is a Tutu blush and it's one of my favorites. And um, Tutu, Tutu products sell three, you have three products for five pounds and they do a variety of stuff like, um, um, lipsticks, lip glosses, um, cold pencils, um, stuff like that. So, yeah, definitely go and have a look. Um, experiment, experience, whatever you say, whatever, whatever. Just go and have fun. Um, yeah, it started off really serious actually. And right now I'm just tired of listening to my voice, and I'm sure you are. So I'm just gonna say peace out and go on the blog because I'm sure I'll write more than I'm actually saying and I'm sure that I'll have pictures up as well and links links as well so do go and check that out and I'm done thanks for watching and I'll see you guys soon bye